Raise your hand if you dread meal planning. Share your secret in the comments if you don't. <laughs> Raquel here. I'm coming to you a little bit more casually today because I said I would share my Feast of Unleavened Bread meal plans with you and then I lost my meal plans. I had chicken scratch them down on a piece of paper in this moment of inspiration and now phew, they are just gone. And so I finally got back around to meal planning again and I know we're getting down to the wire. It's almost the Feast of Unleavened Bread for a lot of us. And so I wanna get these different meal ideas out to you as well as four different ways that you can make unleavened bread at home from scratch. I guess the great thing is that matzah is kind of made for these last minute plans. You don't have to prep ahead and wait for them. It's like the children of Israel, when it was time to leave Egypt, they just got up and went with their unleavened bread. There was no waiting necessary. So I'll share my Feast of Unleavened Bread mini with you today, and I would love to hear in the comments what you are cooking for the Feast of Unleavened Bread, how you're gonna be eating your matzah each day of the seven days of the feast. Share those in the comments. First, I do wanna mention that I do have an Etsy shop now, and so for those of you who have wanted to support me, well, I want to give you something in return and I have my family's Messiah-focused, child-friendly Passover Haggadah in that shop that you can download. I also have our Shabbat Siddur booklets, my Yom Teruah brochure that I use, some digital art, and I have more things coming that I use for my family. I just have to tweak them and format them. So if you want to support me and bless my family and the work that I do on this channel, then please visit that Etsy shop and I would just be so appreciative and thankful. The first four meal plans, I'm gonna be cooking my favorite go-to pan-fried matzah, which I have made for you in a video last year. I'll put a link in the description box. I love this recipe. It's so tasty and really easy to make, as all unleavened bread is, truly. But I'm gonna be serving this pan-fried matzah with our Passover Seder, and so we're going to have a menu of roasted vegetables, um, grape juice, grilled sheep, and this pan-fried matzah, as well as whatever sides the guests that I have invited bring to contribute. During the week, we'll also eat this pan-fried matzah within our enchilada casserole. So enchilada casserole is basically just layers of matzah, which are like tortillas, and then you have like slightly mashed beans, I use pinto beans, um, ground beef, and a sauteed green peppers and onions. And I just layer that all together. And of course I season it all with things like cumin, chili powder, paprika, garlic, salt, pepper, turmeric. Kind of those spices that you would see in like a taco seasoning blend. And then you can add cheese in there as well if you want. I don't because my husband's dairy free. And then I pour over homemade um, enchilada sauce, which to make a red enchilada sauce you would use Use tomato paste or tomato sauce with some flour to thicken it and you just spice it with chili powder, cumin, um, uh, paprika, things of that nature. And then if you wanted to make green enchilada sauce, you would use tomatillos instead of tomatoes. I've also got chicken fajitas planned for this week, which is basically just um, rainbow bell peppers and onions sauteed with some chicken and the same spices as in my enchilada casserole. And then um, that will be wrapped inside of our pan fried matzah as a tortilla and then whatever garnishes that you prefer. And then finally on the menu with this pan fried matzah is just some roasted chicken with some uh, chicken broth rice and a vegetable for my freezer will probably be broccoli and just a really simple dinner. The next unleavened bread that I'm, we are going to be eating this week is pie crust. Did you know that pie crust is just flour, water, salt, and a fat? And that's it. No leavening. The key though is to keep your crust as cold as possible in the whole process of making it. For my pot pies, I like to use seasonal veggies, but my go-to standard is just chicken with sauteed green peppers and onions, diced carrots, and then like oregano salt, pepper, garlic, um, turmeric, and then I cover it with gravy and cocoon it in this unleavened pie crust and it's mwah, so good. Meal plans number six and seven will be accompanied by matzo crackers, which beware, if you use butter in these matzo crackers, you will have a hard time stopping eating them because they are just so good. Normally I make these with sourdough, but they turn out just fine without the sourdough starter as unleavened crackers. And so now I make them with coconut oil and they're still good, but 
butter is the best. It's true. So with these matzo crackers, we're going to be eating beef stew, um, which is just stew meat, beef stew meat that I brown, and then um, potatoes, carrots, onions, garlic, all submerged in some chicken broth, and then cook that with oregano and Italian seasoning, salt, pepper, turmeric, garlic, and then I thicken it with flour at the very end. And then also three bean chili with beef that is amazing all by itself, but just made so much better when you have these matzo crackers to go with it. Into broth, I put in black beans, red kidney beans, and pinto beans, um, and some ground brown beef, some onions, petite diced tomatoes, and then lots of chili powder, some paprika, some cumin, some uh, garlic, salt, pepper, and turmeric. I think that's about it, but you can kind of tell what spices I like to use because I keep saying them over and over again in this video. And finally this year, I will be making my own unleavened pasta. Pasta is just flour, salt, and water um, with the recipe I'm using. You can do some more like egg and rich pastas if you prefer, but I'm egg free. So I'm going to do that and serve it with homemade spaghetti sauce, which is just tomato sauce with Italian seasonings, garlic, salt, pepper, um, turmeric, some ground beef in there, and then we'll have sauteed green beans on the side. So there you have it. Eight meals for the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Four different ways that you can make homemade matzah from scratch. And there are more ways to make homemade unleavened bread. You can boil dough like pierogies. You can make flatbread in the oven that you could use like with pizza or on the side of your spaghetti or whatever. If you want some different ideas for unleavened breads, just look to different cultures. Every culture has their own type of unleavened bread. So start looking into that and you will have endless possibilities when it comes to unleavened bread. Please like this video if you found it helpful. I would love to hear in the comments what you are making for the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Comment below and share this video with other ladies who will be cooking unleavened bread for the feast. As you prepare your unleavened bread, I just want to encourage you to present yourself to Yahweh this week, to allow him to examine and search your heart for leaven. If I don't see you until after Pesach, I just want to encourage you to keep your eyes focused on Yeshua, our Redeemer, the Lamb of God this season. And may your Pesach and Feast of Unleavened Bread be joyous and meaningful this year. Until next time, I pray that Yahweh would bless you and keep you. I'll talk with you later. Bye-bye.